Hello dear students, I am your science teacher Mr. Akash Zalte. We had started the general science standard 7, topic number 2, plants, structure and function. The parts of any plant, the parts of any plants, as I told you earlier, roots, stem, then leaves, flower and fruit. These five organs related with any plant. I had told you about root, stem and leaves. Now let's turn to the four parts of any plant that is flower. Flower. Parts of flower calyx, corolla, androsium and gynosium. These are main four parts of any flower. But first of all, before going to these parts, let's study about where is flower attached to the stem. There is a stalk, short or long stalk, which is attached to the stem. That stalk is called pedicel. The one end of the pedicel it is attached to the stem, and the another end of the pedicel is swollen. It's swollen, and it is called receptacle. Flowers or the parts of all flowers attach or supported on the receptacle okay so pedicel and receptacle pedicel is a stalk of any flower whether it is short or long and the other end of the pedicel is swollen expanded and it is called receptacle the parts of all flower the parts of all flower supported on the receptacle so these four parts, calyx, corolla, androsium and gynosium. Now, one by one, let's study the first part calyx. Calyx is a green in color part, which is situated on the receptacle. So calyx made up of sepals. Sepals are green because all the flower hiding in the sepal at first it is a bird. Upon Maradima de Mantuna, Kari. Survatila full he Kari asta. Matiji Kari aste, the river and gachaste. Survatila. So it is called sepals. Green in color. Then, when sepals sprout, Java Kari Ankurte, when sepals sprout, then it is turned into petals. That is corolla. Corolla made up of petals. Petals, Maja, Fulanja, Pakaya, which are different in color color parts whether it is red blue yellow etc there are many colors of petals then androsium androsium is a male reproductive organ in the flower okay so androsium made up of stamens stamens astat and stamens are made up of anther and filament Two parts of stamens, anther and filament, together, together called stamens. So these are male reproductive organ of any flower. Let's turn the fourth part, gynosium. Gynosium is a female reproductive parts of any flower. Gynosium is a female reproductive parts of any flower. It made up of carpels. And what is carpel? Carpel consists of three unit. Stigma, style, and ovary. Stigma, style, and ovary. Okay. Now let's study one by one calyx, corolla, androsium, and gynosium. Let's see on the blackboard. This is stem. On the stem, pedicel is attached to the stem. Pedicel is a short stalk or long stalk. So one end of the pedicel is, is attached to the stem and the second end is expanded and swollen. So it is called receptacle and from receptacle from here arise a sepal, sepals or sepal. Sepal is arise from the receptacle. Sepal means calyx. Calyx made up of sepal. So this is sepal. Kari. It is green in color. 
and in sepal the other parts of the flower is hided in this sepal okay so this is sepal this is receptacle and this is pedicel pedicel attached to the stem one end of the pedicel is attached to the stem and the second end is uh, expanded and swollen and from the receptacle a sepal is arise which is green in color sepal means calyx calyx made up of sepal okay see this is corolla the second part of the flower see pedicel this is sepal which is green color green in color and from the sepal when sepal sprout expand sepal from the sepal corolla arise corolla means petals pakhaya which are different in color maybe yellow green sorry green red etc so petals arise from the sepal corolla made up of petals now let's see here these are male reproductive organ of any flower these are stamens okay so let's take one stamen this is a stamen 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 made up of anther and filament this is anther in this anther there is reproductive liquid are there small small liquid so anther and filament this is female reproductive organ in any flower it is called gynoecium gynoecium made up of carpels c a r p e l s gynoecium made up of carpels so carpels consist of three part stigma style and ovary these are stigma this is a tube like structure called style and at the end this is ovary that means undershay so these are gynoecium parts stigma style and ovary so with the help of androecium and gynoecium a flower is converted in another condition or next condition into fruit that means how fruit is formed fruit is formed from androecium and gynoecium androecium and gynoecium get converted into a fruit now let's turn to the end part of any plant that is fruit example there are many fruits in our surrounding for example mango chiku and apple each type of fruit has its own characteristic there are variation in their shape color and taste etc that means every fruit is a special it has its own characteristic for example mango contain only one seed whereas jackfruit that means funnus jackfruit jackfruit consist of many small fruitlets each with its own seed that means jackfruit consist of many sections in inner part or each part has its own seed so observe the fruits of bear that is zizipus mango chiku apple etc what do you observe apple also has small small seeds it is many that is 5 or 6 or 7 okay but chiku has only one seed soak the seeds of pea wheat rice jowar groundnut in water for 3 4 days for 3 4 hours press the seeds with your finger and observe them which seeds get divided into two equal parts the seeds which get divided into two parts are called dicotyledonous seeds and seeds which do not divided into two equal parts are called monocotyledonous seeds so this is the end of this chapter so write down all question under the under this chapter and complete your homework thank you very much bye bye